with his vision to make Cebu a more livable and sustainable place to live in by 2050. Mega Cebu, a program of the Metro Cebu Development Coordinating Board, in partnership with several institutions, presents to the media its accomplishment in the first six months of 2018. Part of which is the progress report of Metro Cebu Urban Transport Master Plan for 2022-2050. The DPWH has been very responsive. We have the team here from Central Office who are working on the flood control and stormwater management project. The DPWH funded the study for the Master Plan for Stormwater and Flood Control in, in Mega Cebu. To date, the DPWH has over 3 billion in, in projects ongoing and committed projects for flood water and storm water management. We have to mention JICA. Believe it or not, JICA has do donated not in cash but in kind and grants over 2 billion pesos to the projects of Mega Cebu, starting with the study of Mega Cebu, the development roadmap, up until a 1 billion peso grant for septage management here in Mega Cebu. So JICA has been very active and very supportive and one of their ongoing projects right now, aside from septage management, is also solid waste management. By August this year, the JICA-funded transport and traffic study would have been completed. We had an excellent series of meetings the other day that were for the uh, both the working, the technical, and steering committees. And I think you've begun to see some of the output of this meeting in the papers over the last few days. So our target by 2022, reduce residual waste by 20% in Metro Cebu through prevention, reduction, recycling, and reuse. So how do we know? So what are our indicators? So our first indicator is a 20% reduction of the volume of residual waste in Metro Cebu, 10% reduction of LGU expenditures in relation to collection and disposal of waste in Metro Cebu, and 10% increase in waste Diversion in Metro Aside from Cebu's worsening traffic situation, some of the major concerns that must be addressed are the lack of proper and systematic waste disposal, the increasing demand for clean water, flood control, and drainage improvement. Mega Cebu presents its master plan with its corresponding project objectives and expected outputs. It hopes that the presentation of its master plan to its media partners will create a ripple effect of people for them to have a better understanding of the projects. That you have the power not only of the pen, the broadcast, as well as also in whatever forms or modalities that you really can communicate better. And we may not be good in the messaging. We are not that good. That's why very technical. Maybe you can really help us try to simplify this so that you can, you know, you can popularize this better. Mega Cebu hopes that the stakeholders and beneficiaries will be more informed of its long-range master plan and more willing to support the vision. The presentation of Mega Cebu's first accomplishment report for the year was held on July 9, 2018 at the Plenary Hall of the Ramon Avoides Foundation Incorporated Building of His Highness Street, Cebu City. For My TV Cebu, Dan Pelazon.